and we return in Legend of Keepers Feed the Troll, which we are going to do with what kind of heroes, I wonder. Um, I have a prediction. <laughs> if we try to kill the veterans, we will die. Or, or we win and get a master bonus and lots of gold. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Go big or go home. Now, how do you set up? I think you go room to... Uh, we need armor in this room. This is a nice front lineup, but you, you work best with a full room. Ah, here we go. Room one, room two. Like this, protecting the Quetzalcoatl, right? Eh? Yeah, like this is really risky. Like there's no way to put set up that as a good layout. Uh, we'll do our best with what we have. You have fire resistance. Hmm. And there's a trap before the next room, so the eye is much more likely to have an effect there. We will go mortar first. Uh, like this, I presume. Front air. Oh, you have negative air resistance. Front ice. Back physical. Oh, okay. They need to be switched. Huh. Not that we could do a good with that room. Uh, we'll do the best we can. And here, it might get a bit more tricky. Air. And ice. Front. Physical. Back. Which is interesting because you want to be the backliner then uh, but the ice is gonna murder us at least we murder him too right so hmm. oh boy let me think about my spells here who are we able to kill with that not you So you will be hit by the, the fire bounty thing here, which is not going to kill you. Uh-oh. Damage and morale taken from traps reduced. And dodges the activation of the first regular trap encountered, which means she dodges the entirety of the mortar. Right. She's got fairly low health, the frontliner here, and that's who will be hitting the most. Uh, for the fire, Solar Blessing, they actually don't benefit a lot from that, so I think I want to have that set up before the first room here. And this will make, uh, well, this will not touch her, which is fine. So that uses up her ability for the mortar to hit her later. So like this, well, I still think you gotta go back line. So like this, fire to the back. Physical front is not great. Physical to the back line. Oh, oh she's got high armor too. Damn it. And fire on him is fine. Problem is that we are not focusing any hero down, so they will all make it to the master, I think. Food. So, yeah. Wish me luck. Oh, that's not good. Too much. Gotta go fire. Survive. Got some sound issues there, okay. Yeah, hit her hard there, good. Okay, we took a lot of damage off, or, or, or like a lot of health off of the frontliner there. That is kind of nice. She raised her resistances even further, so uh, I would have maybe done the frost wind if not for that specifically. Uh, so we gotta do a flaming mark. Just to have an impact. Yeah. 
I think we will live. Knock on wood. Not not in this room, but in the next. Well, maybe not. Maybe maybe we can even finish it here. This will apply all burnt oil and you know, so he's going to remove that. Yeah. But then at least that's gone. Okay, we get another good turn here. We kill her. This will not kill anyone, but the frontliner will die here. So we lose the Quetzalcoatl, but that's it. All right. We made it with one less master. Without getting to the master, even. I did not expect that. Easy game. And we get the power upgrade here, which is... Uh, easy to, to say that this is the best one. It buffs all the attacks and it buffs the master spell in the middle of the dungeon. So, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're still missing some creatures, but they're kind of... We have three in reserve that are going to come back, you know. And we don't see the, the next hero invasion anytime soon. So, hopefully these two four turn... Four week guys, they will come back, right? Uh, we can send another one on a business trip. Oh, we really should. And we should send someone on a course too. God damn it. That's really risky. If... No, I think... No, one, two, three. If the heroes come here and I send someone on a business trip here, we will be down a monster again. Only one. But if the heroes come in the week after, we would have them back, and then we could also send someone on a course, and we would still have the six. And business trips are so good, man. We can get demon attacks, regenerate their life by 50% of the 150% of the damage dealt if the target is affected by burn. This is what we want. Demon combo. We have a lot of demons already right i picked up few even yeah, every creature i've bought so far is a demon 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 not you but no demon one two three four okay but this ability here it has been reworked a bit since last i played with it but it has carried me through entire runs before so good that's a lot of region and imagine we get the big uh, fire demon dude, the rare one, that I forget the name of. Him with this is insane. YOLO. Oh, and the heroes are not coming here. Perfect. Event. Oh, we get another artifact. Staff of Speech. Monsters in a group containing three different types gain 30% power at the start of a fight. Uh, which we can, we can do that. One... Yeah, no, we can. Uh, it's with three different types across the board. Sure. Doesn't really come over the fact that I just said I want to get only demons from here on out, but for 150 gold, I'll take this and it'll carry us for a while. And it, I mean, it'll make this, the demons stronger when they do. When we do field one and they do the regen thing, they will get a lot of he healing back because they hit harder. So, I think there's a combo there, even though it's kind of anti-synergetic. Here, we can get away with this. These two should make it back in time for the heroes, and I do want him to level up, sure. So, yeah. And then an event. Secret room. One of your employees has accidentally discovered a long-lost secret tunnel. I've never seen this event before. It leads to a treasure room filled with gold and housing a rare valuable artifact you can keep everything for yourself reward your employee with some gold or give them the artifact applies terrified to all heroes when a demon is defeated not a thing that i want so what are we doing down here offer Give them the artifact one level. 
I think I want this one. But here I get the artifact and the gold. I'm not sure how to read this. You can keep everything for yourself. That's this option here, where we get the, the artifact and the gold, I think, right? We can reward the employee with some gold. What? Reward your employee with some gold? That must be this one here then, because give them the artifact. That's this one over here, where we give them the artifact and then they get... No. Wait, what? Reward your employee with some gold. That's this one over here. Oh, oh, uh, I see. Reward your employee with some... Then we don't get the gold. Because we are giving him the gold. We get the artifact. And he gets motivation. Yes. Or we can gift them the artifact. That's this one down here. He will gain a level then. And I get the gold. Take it. I think I understood correctly. Yes, he leveled up. And I got the gold. Beautiful. And we didn't get the artifact. And that's fine. Only one choice. This should be easy enough. They made it back. Double succubus is a <laughs> bit of a risk. Oh, we want to make sure that we mix genders, I was going to say, but no. Uh, types. Room one, double demon here. Oh, we can precisely do that. Perfect. Here, go room two. Get this one knocked out. So like this, we have three different types and three different types and the demons will regenerate. Beautiful. Calculated. What are we dealing with? Area nature? Hate this guy. And he reduces the duration of penalties. This guy removes penalties. He does ice to the front. And area fire damage we don't care about. And he randomly shuffles my dudes though. Uh, they have low fire resistance across the board. Nice. The mortar will not be great. Only one of them benefit off of the solar blessing. Area nature, ice front. Can we do anything about the ice? Negative, we cannot. But the succubus is not great her here, so we will sacrifice her. Uh, she will not bounce her attacks because of him having negative armor. Then you, then you, because you are better in the back, right? I think so. And do the more damage anyway, so might as well just have you in the back doing more hits. Indeed. Here, ice front. Jesus, we do need to pick up some ice resistance somehow. Um, Or just not need monks all the time, how about it? Anyway, uh, like this and then that. Good. Sacrifice the succubus mortar. Food. And if nothing else, then the master will kill these guys. I, mean, I have no doubt. I forgot that he shuffles our creatures. God damn it. Yeah, not great. What is this? Star for speech. Oh, we're benefiting from that. That's written down here. Cool. And... The Fang of Melinda only applies if the target is affected by burn. So it's really great that we get to apply burn here before the succubus goes in. It's almost as if I calculated that, right? There, then she heals. Look at that. So honestly, honestly, it makes her kind of an okay tank. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Yeah. And he is not burning anymore. So we need more ways of applying burn. But we'll work on that. It helps when they level up too and stuff like that. I'd say that was a fairly successful first room, considering how low he went. So... I'm surely not doing Celestial Betrayal, right? That buffs his attacks. So this seems wasteful, no matter how you put it. But I think we take him out. Which feels wasteful, but really not him having not, not getting an action. He's got so high speed, he would be the first to move it would suck it would just plain suck he's got nature resistance so give him a little kiss for sure oh hmm. no we gotta take out the ice guy 
they are now burning. Impalement bounces some of it, the damage dealt to the next in line, but I really need to take him out. The question is, is he going to die from the burn if I do this? He's got negative fire resistance. He's got a high amount of health as a base. 5%. I don't think I want to risk it, so we will do the spear strike. And this guy's burning, so we will heal. Yeah, he's dead. Good. Nice. Okay. I feel uh, I, I I kind of forgot about it, but I feel like I definitely I feel like I felt the extra power from my creatures for that artifact. We were dealing so much damage, and that's obviously why. Uh, can we do a burn with any of these guys? Terrible selection here. We cannot do anything with this. A random defeated master comes back to life as a skeleton warrior if the skeleton trumpeter is the last survivor of the group. Eh, that's kind of cool, honestly. So we have a little necromancer dude. And he's got ice resistance. I was about to say we should pick up the ice skeleton for the ice resistance, but he does have that. Hmm... Doing air damage. They all benefit off of the Lunar Blessing, which we're not playing with. Don't want to do you. It'll be the Trumpeter. Mm. But sad. Really want demons here. And here we go. We don't want to go to the Doctor, because my shame is at full health anyway. So Merchant, here we come. And again, we can't get anything that we need. The Amaru is not trash, but I really want to shuffle and see if we can get something better here. The answer is no. Uh, applies enhanced resistance to the master at the group. Uh, uh, to the master of the group at the front and guaranteed critical to the one at the back. Okay. Here's a demon. But not a demon that plays with fire. It's got high ice resistance, though. And this is a good attack. So is this, technically. Okay. I think we buy the gargoyle. And the dog. It's really nice just having extra creatures. We don't even, we haven't even filled up the rooms yet, but we will always have some shoveling in and in and out, right? So yeah, we go for collectors almost always. We, I feel like we are on top of this playthrough, so we t use the master's life as a resource here and gain some free gold. We will then hit the gym. Just like in real life, you know, I'm the type who always goes down to the gym and pumps iron all day long, of course. <laughs> That's exactly the type of person that I am. Um, I don't want to pay 40 for speed. It's He's got 130 speed already. No, just skip some rope. This is very low life. I'm not sure how this could even be worth it, but yeah, uh, sure. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? All right, and let's have a look at it. Hmm. You know why I'm considering the adventurers here. That master bonus is permanent. Uh, although a nice monster could be good, but we've seen sometimes the new monsters that we find are just not that great and it's significantly harder. As much as I like to push myself, I just think the master bonus will carry us longer. Then what? I think Otto does better in room 2. Maybe not. Room 1. Don't hate you here. We apply burn through you, so there's plenty of burn application. The 
skeleton bulb applies burn very cool demon we only have one spirit here that we would have to field and we only have one spirit here that we would have to field now i kind of feel like i'm forced to activate that artifact but that's not necessarily a bad thing so we might want to pick up some more spirits at uh whenever we can should have picked up that amaru i think in the shop but whatever Nature damage to the front through the Thug. Fire damage front. Positive armor. Nature front, fire front, air back. Increased resistances, okay. And he replenishes morale, which we do not care about. Okay, this should be fairly okay. Fire resistance, low on you. So we can take out one hero at least, and then we've got some higher fire resistances to deal with, but it should be okay. Do we activate the blessing? Yes, because it's only you that benefit off of it. It's fine. It's good stuff. Oh, hold on. Hmm. Oh, we don't even have a succubus this time. Ah, I see. Hmm. Let's try with this for a second here. We will field you. You and a demon that would be you. So nature, fire, front, nature, fire. I guess that's you. Air to the back line. That's the trumpeter. Okay. We have a spirit. We need a demon. That's you. And then Otto. So not the bull. Okay. Otherwise, it would be the bull front. You do have air resistance, so do you. Hmm. Bull is not so great in the front. We are applying burn. Applies elemental weakness 3 to all heroes when the makers is defeated. All oh, right, it's level 3 now, this one. So this one has a death effect, which is kind of cool. Kind of makes you want to sacrifice her early. But no, it's fine because the, the elemental weakness will then carry over to this room where we do a lot of elemental damage. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Okay, I mean, I can keep looking at this, but I feel like we're actually building fairly okay here. Except we want to check one thing. We do a lot of air damage potentially. And that's fine for two of them. Sure. Sure. Okay. And nature, fire front, air back. Nature, fire, no. Nature, fire, no. No. Okay, I think skeleton soldier goes front still. He's got the nature. Oh, no, no, no. The, the nature guy will be dead by then. So we need fire front. 50. That's the demon. Also a nice tank because she will be recovering uh, health from the burns from her attack. Yeah. And air resistance in the back line. That would be you. So like this to protect him. Yeah. That's fine. Hmm. Okay, okay. I am fairly confident here. I don't think they make it past room two. Oh, this does good damage. Tiredness across the board could be kind of cool. Morale damage, I don't really care for though, and this is good damage. Oh! The Ara didn't get an attack. Okay. Huh. That's bad math on my part. 
Oh, but here we can wake the dead then. I mean, of course. Wait, what? I must have misread something. A random defeated monster comes back to life as a skeleton warrior if the trumpeter is the last survivor of the group. Ah. There's a little extra clause there that I hadn't picked up. Okay. Then I don't think he gets to do his thing. No. But there goes the rogue. That was important. That still applied the burn to them. Beautiful. Because now she gets to heal. Lovely. Uh, and in this case, the natured one will do more. And that's still... She doesn't have to attack with fire, just into burn. Yes. Nice. Back to full health. Kind of amazing. More burn application or hitting the back line with some broken armor. We don't have to apply more burn. The thing about burn is it doesn't do more damage than more stacks that are on them. As long as they have just one stack in their turn, they will take the same amount of damage. So we can skip a turn, give them the morning star first, which is important because the broken armor means... I think it still modifies the damage he takes. Because the final damage being transferred surely will also be affected by resistances after the fact. I'm not sure about that. Um, never really figured that one out. Are you weak to armor damage? No. But you're resistant to fire, so I think this is okay. Look at that. Oh, yeah, we kill her. But we are res really resistant to her attacks in the front, so I don't care about that. I want to hit the back line more. I guess I didn't think that through, because now this attack doesn't bounce. Hmm. I mean, it wouldn't have bounced anyway, but we didn't hit the back line there. Hmm. Okay. And we need to apply burn here, but do we need to do that? No. We just need to kill. And so we did. Easy. And we get the master bonus. Frost Whirlwind upgrade is interesting. I usually play this one a lot. Ignition is an attack from the master. Performs an additional attack if the target's fire resistance is negative. Potentially really strong. I would like to get a trap or something, anything really, that reduces people's resistances. And maybe I've been sleeping on the, the ignition in other playthroughs, now that we have been attacking a lot with the master. And it's potentially a lot of damage. I play the Frost Whirlwind really often though, right? Compared to how often I would be attacking with the Master himself. But when it matters, when they get to the Master, that's really when it matters. And then this might be great. Or the Max Life is also a way of thinking about it, right? We do have very low maximum life because of the dif difficulty setting, right? Oh man, it's half of what it was in the other playthrough. Whew. That does not fill me with joy. So maybe... Maybe the life... Tough decision. I think Ignition. Can't make up my mind. Ignition it is. Alright, good stuff. That'll be it for today. So see you guys tomorrow with the continuation of the series and bye bye.